everyone, welcome to Asia in the Kitchen. My name is Asia and I make good Asian island food inspired by my heritage. Today we're gonna be making a Guam inspired taco. And I'm so stoked. Because of the Conquistador era, there are very like similar elements, I guess, in Mexican cuisine and Chamorro cuisine. So I kind of wanna combine those together and celebrate those similarities by making something totally new. So if you guys enjoy these tenada carne tacos or dried beef tacos. I think this will be good. I don't think I need lemon juice because the hibiscus powder is like pretty tart. Oh no, no! I did this last time and I forgot. <sighs> I'm just gonna let it do its thing and I'll clean it up. So tonight we are gonna be making um, I guess we should menu, we'll tell you more about it. But we're making some tacos, but not just any tacos. We are doing an island spin on tacos and talking about um, food and culture a little bit because Guam was, uh, or Guam has a lot of Spanish influence because during the Conquistador era, it was under Spanish reign. Um, and so a lot of the foods today um, are influenced by Spain in one way or another. Um, so there are some similarities between Mexican food and Chamorro food because of that. But yeah, so there's a lot of really unique uh, aspects to Guam food because of like the, uh, like af not after effects, but because of history, basically historical events. So there's one really big like similarity, which is uh, Guam uses these like flatbreads called tzatzitas, which is very similar to tortillas. Um, and it's just prepared a little bit differently. And then ours is, our version is gonna be even more different because we're making a paleo version. So it'll be kind of like more like a batter than a dough, but I'm really excited about it. But instead of like steak tacos, we're gonna be doing um, tenada katne, which is a Guam way of curing beef. And I'll actually walk through how like the beginning steps go. I, t I took, I felt like very prepared today. I took a video of it and I like threw it into my stream. And so I'll play the video and talk through it so you guys can know the beginning steps. But it like, the process is like six hours long. So I felt like doing a six hour stream just to cure some meat would kind of be boring. <laughs> And then we're also gonna do an, another similar thing between like traditional me Mexican salsa and um, Chamorro, um, uh, oh my gosh, I wanna say, oh, Finadeni, sorry. I was saying, I wanted to say fancy, but that's different. Um, Finadeni, they're very similar. Um, so we're gonna use that instead of a salsa. And then we are gonna also do another Guam dish called um, Goleha Gansuni, which is like a stewed um, spinach. And we'll cool that, which it's normally served hot, but we'll cool it down and top it instead of like a creamy slaw with like fish tacos. So we're doing really epic tacos. Let's go ahead and get started by making the, um, the Denancy, or I keep saying Denancy, I don't mean Denancy, by making the Finadeni first. So Finadeni is traditionally lemon or some sort of acid. Like we're gonna use lemon and vinegar and, um, Sometimes you'll put some soy sauce in it. So we'll put a little bit of coconut aminos and then you just chop up onion and um, like hot pepper to taste. And we're also gonna add some tomatoes, which some, like it's optional. People use it in their um, finadeni, some don't. But basically it's like the all purpose sauce of Guam and people love it on their rice, on their chicken, on their salad sometimes, on anything. So I'm really excited to show this to you because Finadeni is like one of my favorite like barbecue dipping sauces and like it's so simple. Let's go ahead and make the gola hagansuni next because we need that to chill as well. Okay, so I'm gonna just add as much as I can at a time. Um, spinach, I'm gonna toss it in some oil, or not toss, but just drizzle some oil on it and some salt. Mm. 
All right, so for this um, sub for tortillas, we're making tatizas, which is a Guam version um, of tortillas, basically. They're very similar. Um, but we are making it even more differently because we're doing a paleo version. Everything I do on the stream is paleo compliant, or I try to be at least. Um, so that means like being dairy free, gluten free, um, grain free, refined sugar free, all those things, but still make amazing food. So we're gonna be making basically our take on tor tatizas or tortilla, similar to tortillas. Um, and I just put half a cup of coconut uh, flour, half a cup of um, tapioca flour, and then we're doing two cups of full fat coconut milk. Now we're basically creating a batter. We're just gonna incorporate this and then we're gonna add like a teaspoon of salt. So we are going to make these. In this nonstick pan. So here are our tatizas. All right, so the piece de resistance is this dried beef that I have been, oh, I need to cut it more, that I have been curing in the dehydrator for six hours. The dehydrator is great because it only takes me 24 hours. It looks good, yeah. So what we're gonna do is cut into them um, and then we'll pan fry them for a little bit of char, a little bit of texture and then we'll kind of build out our tacos. So that's what they look like nice and pink on the inside. Oh, I meant to say before I finish this, I prepared a video that I could just talk through. But basically all you do is take your skirt steak and you juice it up with one uh, juice of one lemon and then on both sides. And then I use some um, um, spicy salt, but just salt to your pieces of meat. And then you can stick them in the dehydrator on 120 degrees. And um, yeah, then that's pretty much all you do. Should I didn't hold on. Now I'm like second guessing. Maybe I should have done go go like have been just the base. Not the top. I think that's better. Alright guys, well let me show you what we got going on here. We defeat all odds. What the butt in the words are right? Um, we had to be all odds, and we made Guam style tacos. Is this for you? There we go. Ha! <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching that 
making it through that video oh my gosh what an ordeal but it yielded like an amazing dish that I'm very very proud of I hope that you guys enjoy it um, if you try it for yourselves let me know in the comments and like this video subscribe to this channel if you haven't and click on that little bell to let you know the next time we put a dish on YouTube but we would love to have you live so if you just go to asianthekitchen.com and click the little twitch icon you can hang out with us in real time in the kitchen and that's just like my dream come true I hope that you hang out with us and then and until next time know that I love you fam you're the reason why I do what I do bye